up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Subaru Port Ritchie, and guess what? We have a very, very special Crosstrek. This is a 2020 limited trim, but as you can see, there's been some modifications done, but we'll get to that in a second. The Crosstrek has really fallen perfectly into Subaru's lineup. It basically is an Impreza wagon lifted, and so many people have gravitated towards this specific vehicle because it really is the Swiss army knife of all vehicles. It handles well, it drives smooth on the highway, you do have your all-wheel drive that's going to keep you planted, but you also have quite a bit of usable space. Now Subaru is known for making vehicles that people love the outdoors. They love dogs, they love going outdoors, they love camping. What the folks here at Subaru of Port Ritchie decided to do is add some of that outdoor fun in a nice appearance package. So what you're looking at is a Crosstrek that has a two inch lift and of course has some fuel off-road wheels wrapped with some off-road tires to not only give you a different look but also give you that ability to maybe put your kayak in a place that is a little bit further off the beaten path. On top of that, we have a nice cargo basket. So when you're going camping and you have all that extra gear, you can throw it up there and have everything nicely secured. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020 Crosstrek Limited, talk about some of the great things about the Crosstrek, but also talk about the modifications that they've done with this particular car. So right off the bat, getting into this car, you can see that with the Crosstrek, Crosstrek's been around since 2013, if you could believe that. It used to be called the Crosstrek XV. Around the world, it was just known as the XV. Now they dropped the XV and it's just called Crosstrek. And that makes sense. I think they were confusing people with adding these other letters. With the redesign that took place a few years ago now, it is sitting on the global platform. That global architecture of Subaru gives you a nice ride, but it also gives you a safer vehicle. You have LED headlights, LED daytime running lamps, and LED fog lamps. That's all part of the limited trim. I like the flat black because it's not a bunch of glare and also it's going to wear a lot nicer than if it was gloss. Coming across the grill, I like what they've done with the overall grill design. Some flat black, a little bit of gloss, but then you have some chrome which integrates nicely into that Subaru badge. The grill has become so important on so many different brands as a brand identifier and it really fits the front of the Crosstrek nicely. And it, you can see the resemblance to a grill on an Outback or a Forester. We drop down, you have flat black, larger section, gives it a nice aggressive look to it. We hop up onto the hood and what you're gonna find are some nice body lines. So they start on the front fascia, go into the hood, simple. And that's what I like, it's just enough to where it's aggressive but it's not overly done where it looks like a science experiment. Now when we come around the bend, here's where we see some of that excitement that they've done here at Subaru Port Ritchie. So you have that two inch lift, that RC lift, and then you're gonna have those fuel wheels. So this is a 17 inch wheel specific for off-roading wrapped with these Toyo AT, those all-terrain open country tires. They give you a nice ride going down the road, but if you look at the tread pattern, you're definitely gonna get that off-road clawing grip that you need. And you'd be surprised, the Crosstrek pretty capable of an off-road vehicle for the light stuff. I'm not talking about a rock crawler by any means, but definitely it will surprise you. I do like the flat black that they put around the fender treatment, gives it a nice extra off-road look and the silver with the black just sets it apart. We drop down the side, you can see they decided to take some of this unique pinstriping and follow a body line on the vehicle all the way to the back. You have the flat black across the whole bottom and you can see that with the lift, so you're talking 8.6 inches plus another two. If you do the math, that's 10.6 inches off the ground all the way around to give you better clearance. You have the nice powder coated cargo basket with the crossbars bolts so nicely. It almost looks like a total stock piece to it. We keep working towards the rear. The chrome trim just on the bottom. I think that's super smart. Nice little tiny 
quarter window, and then when we get to the tail end of the business, you have the gloss black low roof spoiler. You can see the basket from the back, not too high, just right. And then when we drop down, nice and clean. You're gonna have your Subaru badging, that's symmetrical, full-time, all-wheel drive. You still get great MPGs, even with the full-time all-wheel drive. The Crosstrek badge, and then everything is nicely clean from front to back because of that extra ground clearance. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this Crosstrek. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. We do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk that. Would be nice to just have hydraulic struts. What you're looking at, though, is you have one engine option. It's a naturally aspirated two-liter engine. The good news is, is that if you come in at a lower trim level, this is a limited, but if you come in at a lower trim level, you could actually still get a six-speed manual transmission. The other transmission, which this one has, is a CVT. You're looking at 152 horsepower, 145 pound-feet of torque. The vehicle weighs around 3,300 pounds, zero to 60, in a sluggish almost nine seconds and if you're wondering well what are the mpgs like i was telling you you're going to get pretty good return 27 in the city 33 on the highway and that's with the full time all-wheel drive system because of that flat engine remember the pistons a boxer motor the pistons are going horizontally back and forth that's why they call it a boxer because of the boxing gloves they look like boxing gloves the pistons the engine is nice and low in the chassis. That's gonna give you better handling characteristics. Plus, with that all-wheel drive system, you're gonna stay planted to the ground. Why don't we go ahead, let's check out the interior and see what separates the limited trim Crosstrek from the rest. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Crosstrek with those modifications. I know you're at the point, you're like, Joe, I want a turnkey off-road style vehicle that will give me a little extra style, but also give me that usability when I'm going camping. How much is this one? MSRP is $37,000. The way that you see it, turnkey, you drive it off the lot and go camping right away. Let's see what you get for the money. Now, this is a limited trim, so you are gonna get higher end finishes on the interior. I love the leatherette material, the orange contrast stitching, that perforated leather on the back of the door panel, the soft material at the top. The one area I am gonna zonk is that carbon fiber. I just feel like it's out of place. I do like the silver though around the carbon fiber. They should have just extended that a little bit more or maybe used a different material. You do have a small pocket for a Twinkie or two and some milk. And this one has the optional Harman Kardon sound system. Now, when you come to the dash, solid material, there's a continuation of that stitch work. I do like the silver trim here and also around the AC vents. You have your dual screen setup where you could get through a plethora of information, which is really great. As you can see, I'm toggling. There's your water temperature, oil temperature, average speed. We could get the weather going on here. You got your directionals for your navigation, obviously radio, um, and then of course range and whatnot. Analog clock, all that great information there. Look at that, it's unbelievable. All your eyesight protection. This has the 2.0, so what that means is, is that this housing, the eyesight 2.0, is smaller, it's not so obtrusive, and you're getting a frameless auto dimming mirror, very nice touch, push button start, eight inch infotainment system. Obviously it's a touch screen with navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Let me go ahead and click on maps for you. There's your map. You come down, you got the home button, radio controls, a little bit of gloss black. This is just protective film when they're shipping it. You have your standard AC controls, no dual climate. So I am gonna zonk that the limited trim does not have dual climate, but look at how they bring the material. The stitch work looks great. You have a large pocket down here for M&Ms. You could just pour the bag right in there. You got a 12 volt, a USB, and an aux jack. This is controlling that CVT transmission. You can see how they continue the stitching all the way through. Heated seats. This also has X mode. So that is when you're doing off-roading. It's another way for the engine and transmission to change its parameters. It's not like a rock crawl but it does assist you in getting better traction to the ground when you're in sand or dirt or whatnot. You have your standard Subaru key fob, which is a good looking key fob, good size. It's got a nice weight. I like the silver trim on it. Two cup holders, nicely padded armrest with the stitching. Open it up. If you take your Twinkies and you stand them up, you could easily put about eight in there or get some Twix. You know, those are nice too, or some Kit Kats. You got two USBs and another 12 volt seats they look great i love the perforated center i love the orange stitch work 
I wish that they were ventilated. At this price point, it would be nice if they were uh, ventilated, especially at limited trim, but you do have manual controls for the passenger, electric eight-way adjustable seats for the driver, love the sunroof, and you can see the cargo basket through the sunroof, which is really cool. Why don't you come on over to the business end though? I wanna show you behind the wheel of this Subaru Crosstrek. All right, guys, business time on the driver's side. You can see your electric assist controls, easy to get to. The steering wheel is great. I love the thickness. It's got a lot of buttons, but you'll figure it out. And they're flat black, so you don't have to worry about fingerprints. Tractive horn button. The gauges, simple, clean, and they make sense. You do have that digital display in the center, which you could toggle through a ton of information. You also have an SI drive, so you could change the overall uh, delivery of power through the SI drive system, which is another nice touch to kind of tailor how you want the power delivery to come in your Crosstrek. But like I said, I'm six feet tall, I got plenty of headroom, feels good up here. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat and see how spacious it is. Right, back seat time, I wanna point something out. Now in the back, they went with a faux carbon fiber flat black. I like this better. They should have put this up front instead of that gloss faux carbon fiber. It wouldn't be so gaudy and, and kind of just too much gloss. That's a nice look. You have leather all the way around. No pocket though for the passenger behind the driver. And then here's another Zonk. So that's Zonk one. Zonk two, three, four, five. No AC vents, no USB, no 12 volt, nothing. Not even uh, a, a calling card to call somebody far, far away. Uh, that to me doesn't make sense in a limited trim. You do have a pocket over here for your back scratcher for uh, you know, all those receipts when you go to the park and you're taking all your camping gear there, you can put it all back here. Lots of leg room, lots of headroom. That's what I love about this Crosstrek. Seats are comfy, armrests, great height, two cup holders. Let's check out the cargo area and see how usable this Crosstrek is. All right guys, cargo area time. It's real simple. You push the button, use some muscles, and it's up and ready to rock and roll. Now this one has the all weather protection package, which I think is smart because you're taking the dirty camping gear out, whatever, maybe your kids' uh, uh, hockey gear, football gear, whatever. You could vacuum this out very, very easily. Seats are gonna fold down. So you just pull up and you push. Look at that, very nicely done. We'll do the same on this side. Hopefully that driver's seat isn't too far back. Look at that. Now you got tons of space usable room that does have the all weather protection and you're ready to rock and roll. But speaking of rocking and rolling, I hope you got your guitar ready. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Crosstrek for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Subaru Port Ritchie. We're in the Crosstrek with the two inch lift, those off-road wheels and tires. It almost seems like peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly are the classic combo. This Crosstrek, with that wheel and tire setup is the perfect combo. It really should come from the factory as an option with that. But it's nice that Subaru Port Ritchie doing the simple mods to lift it, get the wheels and the tires, and you're good to go. That's the great news about this Crosstrek. And then of course, up top, we got the cargo basket, which it's cool because with the sunroof open, you can clearly see the front of the basket up there. And it just makes you know that, hey, you're in something a little extra special. What would be great, the icing on the cake, the cherry on top of the sundae with some extra whipped cream would be if this was a Crosstrek XT with a turbocharger. Now we're really talking, but the great news is even with the cargo basket, this thing drives really nice as I get cut off by a Saturn, but this is Florida and this is Rady's Rides. I'm gonna make a U-turn and bypass all of these cars, but um, the great news is it drives just like a regular Crosstrek without the mods. Super smooth, as you can see, making the U-turn. Now you're gonna get all the niceties that you get in that top level of Subaru Crosstrek with the Starlink system, the navigation, everything is easy to get to. Just like your standard Crosstrek, and people love these. People, there's a devoted following, not only for Subarus, but also for Crosstreks and this silver with the black wheels, absolutely perfect. I love what they've done with the interior. Seats have gotten a little bit better. Are they perfect? No. Uh, I would like just a little bit more cushion in the seats, but everything else is placed very nicely. 
ex especially where you think it's gonna be that orange stitching is a nice addition I'm still zonking the carbon fiber just doesn't seem appropriate in here um, I wish they just would have went with a different like a silver or, or some other material the faux carbon fiber just for me is not working but uh, other than that visibility is great and you're just driving something cool I would love to take this thing off-roading but I don't want to dirty it up because they just cleaned it and she's looking mighty fine there is a little bit of wind noise of course because of the cargo basket up top and that is gonna affect your mileage a little bit there's not a lot of road noise from those off-road tires so I'm happy to report that it's just from the wind noise you are gonna get um, that feeling of the cargo basket up there from the sound but other than that drives really really nice you have your eyesight protection and just overall Subaru is one of the safest vehicles on the road with the full all-time all-wheel drive but we're gonna go ahead we need to wrap this one up get back to Subaru Port Richie so I will see you in a split second all right guys been another magical day here at Subaru Port Richie, I definitely gotta thank Spencer, Tony, Larry, and the rest of the crew getting us access not only to a 2020 Crosstrek Limited, but you can see with the special touches that they did, they helped this Crosstrek stand out from the crowd, plus it's usable. You, This is gonna help you go off-roading. You got the basket up there and it looks great at the end of the day, but if it's modified SUVs like this that you wanna see on Ready's Rides, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. He's loving this cross track. He wants a turbocharged cross track. So Subaru, I hope you're listening because that's what Tom wants. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.